What's up guys, Lewis here from Indie Credible, bringing you a completely new piece of weekly content. Now the idea of these videos is to take you through the top indie game news stories to announce throughout the week. All news stories that we discuss in this video will be discussed at more length in the weekly podcast, which goes live on Monday nights. So if you really want to hear us chew the fat and share our impressions on the news stories in more detail, then go check them out. But let's dive into this week's top indie game news. The first piece of news we got this week came in the form of a new indie game announcement, and it's called Soundfall. Soundfall is a rhythmic-based twin-stick shooting dungeon crawler. I know it's a big mouthful, but that's exactly what the game looks to be. It's being developed by Drastic Games, which is a new indie dev studio made up by Epic Game Veterans. The game looks both very intriguing and visually stunning in the new trailer that we got. Personally, I can't wait to dive into the world of Soundfall when it releases on all consoles and PC sometime next year. Now another indie game announcement we got this week came in the form of Stormboy. Now apparently Stormboy is an Australian children's novel written by Colin Fell back in 1964. The game is richly inspired by the book which is based around a boy and a pelican's friendship after the boy becomes stranded on a, a beach or a desert island. I've not read the book so I can't comment on it too much. However, by the watercolour stills that we got in the revealed trailer, you know it's going to target the heartstrings when it releases later this year on PC, all consoles and mobile devices. Up next, we have got some DLC news for you. Now, if you're a fan of sim colony building game Surviving Mars, then you'll be pleased to hear that two pieces of free content have come to the game this week. Titled Da Vinci and Sagan, these new pieces of content look to bring a completely new creative mode to the game and 24 new challenges, which if you ask me is a lot of content for absolutely free. Both DLC packs, Da Vinci and Sagan, are available now on the PC and console versions of Surviving Mars. This week we got the announcement of a release date for a game that we played earlier this year at EGX Rest. Claws of Fury, or Fury, how you want to read it, is a kind of beat-em-up, side-scrolling action game where you play as ninja cats. We played it in both single-player and co-op form, and I've got to tell you now, the game is a lot of fun. Claws of Fury is set for a release on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch on the 4th of September, and we cannot wait to get our paws on Claws of Fury. See what we did there? Paws, claws? Yeah. Anyway, we'll move on to the final piece of news, which comes in the form of a new gameplay trailer for a tiny little indie game called Above. Above is being developed by a team called Mighty Moth, and it is a very small game that we played earlier this year again at EGX Res, as it featured in the Left Field Collection. This roguelike flying game sees you piloting a plane in between little islands. You must land on the islands to upgrade your plane, which means you can fly further afield. Now, if you're thinking this game is nice and relaxing and tranquil, yes, it is. Until you fly over the middle of the sea, and the beast of a sea creature comes up, grabs your plane out of the air, and bang, roguelike, you start again. The surprise took me as much as it probably take you when you're watching the trailer now. Now there's no set release date for above, but it's one that we think you should definitely keep on your radar and one that we cannot wait to get our hands on again at another event. Now that's going to wrap up all this week's indie game news for you guys. If you like what we do in these videos, then why not give them a little like. And if you like what we do at Indie Credible and want to stay up to date with the latest indie game news, previews and other content, make sure you subscribe. And if you really like what we do, hey, why not head over to patreon.com forward slash indiecredible, throw us a couple of dollars and you get exclusive content on some weekly podcasts and some early access on some monthly shows. Until next time, guys, thanks for joining us. Goodbye.